morning guys and welcome back to the entertain house youtube channel look it has been a little bit of a journey for me to get into some rugby league content to get as excited as rugby league as i possibly am now as you can see in my own room back in australia had a fantastic time in america and thank you for watching those vlogs but now it begins i think next week round four for me being the first game i'll be in attendance will feel like a kind of round one blockbuster, that grand final rematch when I get there. But at the moment, I got to watch some games on Saturday, which I'll speak a little bit about. This is gonna be my tipping video for round three of the NRL. So the first game which kicks off on Thursday night. Now, if this was a Friday or a Sunday game, I would have been at this game. It's going to be way too hard to get to, though. The Manly Seagulls up against the Parramatta Eels. The Parramatta Eels have started the season with zero wins and two losses. Very disappointing. I didn't tip... Uh, I tipped the Eels in the video last week, but on the tipping app and a few weeks ago, I had the Sharks winning that game. I had Parramatta winning against the Storm for sure, uh, which they almost did. They didn't get the dub, uh, but the Sharks are a team we sometimes struggle against, so I technically got that tip wrong and right. But anyway, uh, Parramatta will once again be without Ryan Madison for this game. Uh, on the reserves, you've got Hayes Dunster, Jacob Arthur, uh, Ogden, Rodwell, and Lumi Lumi. And then on the bench, we've got Momosia, Murchie, Woodamu Greg, and Makatoa. Woodamu Greg, I believe, got no game time last week. The other forwards were put on the field. Our defence was pretty bad. Um, we couldn't get the job done in the end. It was a close game. We led early on, and uh, it was pretty disappointing. But it was a good game of footy overall, and congratulations to the Sharks, especially without Nico Hines, to be able to get the win. Uh, and it's the first time that the Parramatta Eel have lost back-to-back -back at Combank Stadium. Uh, as for the Manly Seagulls, they're coming off a bye, so they are really fresh. And I'll tell you what, NRL, if you're watching this, why are Parramatta playing all the teams that are coming off a bye? Because it's starting to piss me off. You've got the Manly Seagull, the Penrith Panthers, and then the Sydney Roosters. What is happening there? But, anyway, let's get back into this one. Parramatta don't play too well at Brookvale. We've had a couple wins there throughout the years, but it hasn't been a very happy hunting ground. Josh Schuster is back for the Seagulls, so Cooper Johns, I'm guessing he's in the reserves, he's in Jersey 19. Uh, K.O. Weeks, Ben Trebojevic, Ethan Bullymore, Sean Kepi make up the reserve for the Manly Seagulls. Can't speak too much about Manly, they got the win in round one against the Bulldogs. They had a nice pre-season form against the Roosters, I was at that game. Now they face Parramatta. Parramatta's getting desperate now, 0-2. And look, I think Parramatta win this game. I do. I think Parramatta are the team that can provide uh, up front with the forward pack of the Manly Seagull. Look, in the, you've got a great forward pack. You've got Paseka, Jake Trevojevic, Ola Kalatu, Aloye. But you go against Paulo, Campbell Gillard, and Jermaine Hopgood, who's been fantastic. I think if our halves start to fire up, which I think they will, I think Mitchell Moses, obviously the contract negotiations playing with us a bit. But I think the footy he's playing for the most part, maybe not round one, but definitely round two, is pretty good. He's playing some good footy, playing some of his best footy at this present moment going into this round. So I think Parramatta will win. I do think Manly will score first. So my first try scorer for this game is going to be Josh Schuster. I'm going to back Josh Schuster to return from injury, back in front of the home fans, get an early try. But I'm going to tip Parramatta to win by four. And my scoreline is going to be 24 to the Eel, 20 to the Manly Seagulls. I expect a bit of a high-scoring contest on Thursday night. The next game sees the Newcastle Knights at Newcastle on Friday night hosting the Dolphins. The Dolphins have started the season 2-0. and oh, Got a nice win against the Raiders. Very impressive win in round one. Fired up for the occasion against the Sydney Roosters. Now they're travelling. They're on the road at Newcastle. This is going to be tough for the Dolphins. I'll tell you what, it's even tougher for the Knights because I'm going to read you the outs. You've got Jacob Saifidi, Jaden Braley, Caelan Ponga. God, I hope Ponga's okay. Very unfortunate what happened to Caelan Ponga on Sunday afternoon. And then Tyson Frizzell, 
Uh, the NRL are speaking with the Knights about a possible exemption to let players come maybe from other clubs because of what's happening or whether they can upgrade their top 30, what their situation can be. As for the Dolphins, a little bit of their attack scoring for the next couple of weeks because Jeremy Marshall King is not in jersey number nine. So number nine will be Cody Nicarima, formerly off the bench for the South Sydney Rabbitoh. Uh, and then if you're going back, he was a Warriors in the halves there. Look, it's a nice lineup for the Dolphins here, but I think this game's going to be really close. And I think Newcastle are in with a bit of a sniff. They were very resilient. The Tigers were absolutely awful in that game. But I think the Knights had enough ball to create opportunity, to get good field position, and I think they are a great chance at home of winning this game. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Dolphins are going to start the season three wins, zero losses. I thought about tipping Newcastle in an upset here, but I'm going to go the Dolphins by four. I'm going to go with the scoreline of 20 to 16. I do think the Knights will be competitive, even with some of the players that they do have out for this game. And I'm going to back Ewan Aiken on the left center to score the first try for the Dolphins on Friday night. The next game is a massive game. It is the biggest rivalry in rugby league. It is the Sydney Roosters and the South Sydney Rabbitohs at Allianz, Trellianz, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it Allianz, some people Trellianz. Uh, look, the Roosters, Rabbits, it's always a great game. I even thought about going down to this one, but again, just can't find the time to get there for this game. Uh, Joseph Suwali is in the centres. Jackson Paulo on the wing with Daniel Tupo also on the wing. For the Rabbitohs, I believe Tane Milne is still suspended. Um, he has been named, though, in jersey number 21. So Isaac Thompson is on the wing with Isaiah Tuss and Campbell Graham in the centres there for that one. Uh, Brandon Smith has been cleared of a rib injury, so he has been name to play. Um, it'll be interesting to see how many minutes he can play. Obviously, Jake Turpin came on in that game. Um, and I don't think he is kind of an 80-minute hooker. I think there's a few hookers that you think could play 80 minutes, but they probably need someone like your Jake Turpin or for Parramatta, or even maybe a Mitch Rain. I think Josh Hodgson sometimes looks a bit puffed. But Jared Warrior Hargraves looks to be back for the Roosters. He is named in jersey number eight. Massive inclusion there. And Victor Radley has been named to play in jersey number 13 as well. In for the Rabbitohs, uh, well, Tavita Totola has been named in a big inclusion in jersey number eight. So look, we are at Allianz, the Roosters. They want to be a threat this season. They want to get this get this uh, dominant starter that people expect them to be. This is going to be a great game. And I'm going to tip South Sydney here. I think South Sydney are going to win this. I think they're playing better footy than the Roosters right now. Who's going to finish high on the ladder at the end of the season? I couldn't tell you right now. I look at that Roosters roster. It's a great roster. But I think right now the Rabbitohs have more points in them. They've won at this stadium before. They've knocked the Roosters out of the NRL there. So I'm going to go the Rabbitohs. And I'm going to go the Rabbitohs by 12. I like the Rabbitohs 1 to 12 here. I don't like them 13 plus. This will be a, a tightish game. But I'm going to go the Rabbits 30 to the Roosters 18. I think it'll be high scoring, big crowd, loud. And I'm going to go with Kolomatangi, Keon Kolomatangi from the South Sydney Rabbitohs to score the first try of this game. The next game is on Saturday at 3 o'clock up on the Gold Coast Seabus Super Stadium. It is the Titans hosting the Melbourne Storm. The Melbourne Storm are coming off a thrashing against the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. They scored some points in the second half after uh, Bellamy put a rocket up them. But it wasn't good enough for the Storm, especially at home. Coates was out, Munster was out, Nelson is out now and went off with an injury. As for the Titans the other way, they led early on against the Dragons. They didn't score the first points. I think the Dragons got a penalty goal, uh, or maybe the Titans got a penalty goal, but the Titans had an early lead. They let that lead slip. They let that lead slip drastically too. Uh, so they will want to respond. They will want to have a much better performance for this game. They beat the Tigers in round one. The Tigers round two look absolutely dreadful. So I haven't got a read just yet on where the Titans are. Worrying signs for the Titans with Sam Verrills out for this game. Chris Randall has been named in jersey number nine. So a good pickup throughout the season, off season to get that one. Jojo Fafita is also out. So Philip Sammy returns to the wing for this game. Uh, Tarek Sims looks like he is in for the Storm. He has been named on the bench in jersey 16. Tarek Sims for the Storm. That is a big inclusion, that one. 
Nelson is obviously on the Mona. I mentioned he's out. And Xavier Coates has been named to play as well, with young Tonamapia dropping to the reserves for this one. Look, it's not in Melbourne, but Melbourne are probably going to bounce back here. I think people will fall for the trap of tipping the Titans. Look at that Melbourne lineup as well. I know they weren't great last week in attack, but I think they can get it done over the Titans. I, I think they're going to win. I'm pretty confident with Melbourne this week. I think Melbourne's going to win 1-12 to again, though. I'm going to back first try scorer Nick Meany. I reckon Nick Meany had a shocking game uh, last week, so I think he's going to really bounce back. $2.70 to score a try at any time. Nick Meany, I think it's a special price this week. I'm going to go the Storm by 8. I think the Titans can keep it close. I think they can keep within that kind of... Uh, if I, I'd probably have this line at about Melbourne Storm uh, minus five would probably be the line for me because I think Melbourne can win by about six to eight points. Melbourne's going to win 24 to 16. The Storm to beat the Titans on Saturday afternoon. The next game sees the Cowboys up against the Warriors. Now, the Cowboys are coming off a loss to the Brisbane Bronco in the Queensland Derby. Uh, Reese Walsh had a fantastic performance against the North Queensland Cowboy. Scott Drinkwater is suspended for at least two weeks. So, Tom Chester has been named at fullback for the Cowboys. Uh, Peter Hiku is also out for the Cowboy. So, Shibasaki will be in the centres for the North Queensland side at home. As for the Warriors, big out. Chance Nickel Clockstad is out. So, Tane Tuapiki, if I've gotten that right, has been named at fullback to play for the New Zealand Warriors. Rocco Berry has been named on the reserves. Uh, Viliami Viella has been named on the reserves as well for this one with Braden Williami in the centres. So I was impressed with what I saw from the Warriors last week. I think the Warriors early on have looked pretty good for the most part defensively. Their attack has been quite poor, but defensively they have been able to force errors um, and, and keep oppositions in their own half. The Roosters were pretty bad, even though they got the win. And I wonder whether I'm reading too much into the Warriors this early on. But um, I like what I've seen from them. As for this game, though, they're coming to Townsville. The Cowboys have a great record at Townsville. It's going to be a hot Saturday afternoon, I'm assuming. I think the Cowboys will win. I thought the Cowboys will win by a massive margin. I'm going to go the Cowboys by 16 to play it safe. You've still got players like Jeremiah Nanai, Tal Malolo, uh, Tom Deard, and so I think they can get the dub. I'm going to go the Cowboys 26 to 10, but I'm going to tip a bit of a weird one here, and I'm going to tip Marcelo Montoya from the Warriors to score the first try of the match. What is it paying? I don't know. The Warriors to score first and the Cowboys to win the game. And if you want to be bold, the Cowboys 13 plus. The next game is going to be a great game. Now, I am at a concert at Saturday night and I'll be checking the score when I can, but I won't be able to watch the entire game. This game really could go down to the wire. I think a lot of people are underestimating the defense of the Dragons and the, even the attack of them last week. This is a team that a lot of people expected to be Wooden Spoon. They've definitely shrugged off that Charity Shield performance. Um, whether the Titans were that bad, I guess we may see that this week. But they have a good record against the Broncos as well. Um, the Brisbane Broncos for mine, they're a team I tipped outside the eight. They definitely look like a finals contender. They look like a premiership threat right now, probably. Reese Walsh will be back playing his best footy again this weekend after a great performance. Corey Oates is out with a broken jaw, so Jesse Arthurs has been named on the wing. A little bit of different attack there. Uh, as for the Dragons, Aaron Woods has been named on the reserves, uh, and Amone has been named in jersey number 21. Jock Madden has been named on the reserves as well for the Brisbane Broncos. Now... I reckon the Dragons here are in with a sniff. I really do. So my best bet for the week is the Dragons plus 11.5. 11.5 is a huge margin for the Broncos to cover, in my opinion. They beat the Cowboys by 12, so they covered it there. They beat Penrith by 1. But to win these big margin games, I think it's a big line, especially with how good the Dragons front row was playing last week. But ultimately, I think the Broncos will get the job done. The Broncos are my tip. I like the Broncos to win 1 to 12. Again, Dragons plus 11.5, $1.90. That's my bet. And I like the Broncos to win 22 points to 12. I think it's going to be a low scoring game. The Broncos have proven that they have some great defense this year. And I'm going to go with Adam Reynolds as a roughie to score the first try of this match. 
Brisbane will win, but the Dragons are going to cover that line. Next game is on Sunday afternoon at Belmore. This is going to be a huge game. It's the Bulldogs and the Tigers. The Bulldogs are coming off a win against the Melbourne Storm. Now they're playing a team that look like they're in absolute shambles. Now, I thought John Bateman was named for this game, but he has been named on the reserves, which is a little bit disappointing. I'd like to see John Bateman recruit suit up for the Tigers. As for the Tigers, their fullback is Charlie Staines. Um, Isaiah Papalihi is out suspended. Dane Laurie has been dropped. And Jake Simpkin is out after some concussion protocol. Tommy Talao is also out for this game. So Brent Naden, Stafford Tower, Junior Tupo making up the back line there. As for the Bulldogs, looks like there's no changes. Uh, obviously, a solid win against the Melbourne Storm. And returning to Belmore is going to be huge for the Bulldogs. I was really impressed with Jacob Caraz and Jacob Preston. The Jacobs had a field day. Uh, Reed Marnie was great for the Dogs last week as well. Um, there's not too much to say here. The Tigers look absolutely awful. Right now, they'd be my pick for the Wooden Spoon. I picked the Knights, and it's looking more likely because they've got no players left at the moment. But the Tigers, honestly, they could be kept to nil this game. I don't know where the points are going to come from, but it's NRL. Team score points. So I'm going to go the Bulldogs by 14. I'm going to go the Bulldogs 24, West Tigers 10. And I think this is a game. I don't normally back him, but I'm going to go Addo Carr, first try scorer. You're getting about $6.75. It's not a great price, but I think this is a game where Addo Carr will score first and probably score fairly on. The Bulldogs will win. And the final game of the round is so hard to tip. It shouldn't be hard to tip because you've got the Canberra Raiders and the Cronulla Sharks. And the Cronulla Sharks look like the better team in the NRL to start the season. But the Canberra Raiders record against the Sharks, winning their last nine straight matches. The Raiders at home. The Raiders looked okay against the Dolphins, but the Dolphins got the job done due to weird refereeing on both sides. The refereeing in that game, very, very poor. Look, Cronulla, they don't have Hines back. It's Moylan and Trindle once again. Um, Ada Moriota for the Raiders, who made off the bench last week. He is out for this game. Uh, Zach Wolford has been named on the reserve, so they're sticking with this Starling Levi combination, at least for now. Josh Papali is still not back, so Pasami Solo in his jersey. It is a nice lineup for the Raiders, especially with Hines being out, but they've proven that they can be competitive, and obviously last week that they can score points and get the job done. You've still got Try scoring form of Sione Katoa and uh, Ronaldo Mulatalo. And then you've got big back rowers like uh, Britton Nakora playing some great footy. So look, I'm going to go the Sharks. And I think a lot of people are going to go the Sharks. And I think records are made to be broken. Cronulla are going to break this spell of losing against the Raiders. I know Hines is out. There'll be a few people that'll tip Canberra. Probably a smart tip based on the record. But I'm going to go the Sharks. Low scoring game, 16 points to 10. The Raiders will keep it close in my opinion. I'm gonna go Blake Braley as a bit of a roughie for the first try scorer. Come on Sharks, beat the Raiders. So that's gonna be it for my tipping video as I get into my best bet segments here. Um, yes, it's back for once another year. Recapping on those bets, I'm going to go with Nick Meaney to score a try at any time, $2.70. The Dragons plus 11.5 at $1.90. And we're riding this multi for this week. We're going to go with the Rabbitohs 1 to 12. I think they can beat the Roosters in a close game. It could be closer. I've tipped South by 12. Definitely could see a six point margin. The Storm minus 5.5. I've checked the line. It's a great line there. You're getting Melbourne should cover by a converted try with some of the players that they've got in the side this week. The Dragons plus 11.5. I think the Broncos win. But either way, it's a safe bet to take the Dragons at that higher line. And the Bulldogs head-to-head, -head, the Tigers look in absolute woes to start the season. $14.89, some great odds. Let me know your tips for round three in the comments. It's great to be back on the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as I said, next week, I will be at the Parramatta Reel and the Panda Panthers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.